Noptop here, and I want to talk real quick about the Magic Lantern firmware for the Canon DSLR cameras. This is the latest installation. This is the unified Magic Lantern 0.2.1 version, and this is the installation from August 28, 2011, with the October 7th uh, latest uh, layout for the menu. And you can see right there, boom, look how clean that looks. Right across the top, a bunch of new uh, clean icons you can see real clearly. Uh, if you have no idea what the firmware Magic Lantern is, there's a link in the description. Check it out. You can learn all about it. It's a firmware installation you can put into your camera, and it opens up a huge array of different features. I'm just going to talk real briefly on a couple. Um, it opens up features for video and for photography, which is really cool. As you can see right here, we have it set at ISO 100, and it's got these cool new colors now. Something I want to show you, we have our typical ISO settings where if we go in here, I can adjust them where I can go, let's see here, auto, 6400, 3200, 1600, 800, 400, 200, back to 100. But with the Magic Lantern firmware, we'll go into our ISO here, and now we can go in intervals, 160, 200, 320, 400, 640, 800, 1250, 1600, 2500, 3200, 5000, 6400, and back to auto. That's pretty cool. Something else, and this is the main reason I got um, this firmware installed, uh, other than the audio uh, adjustments where you can shut off your AGC, and you can see right there I have it turned off, and we also have control over our left and right digital gain. Awesome. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, let me hit record here. All right, so we're recording right now. And if I hit the little zoom button here on the top corner of the camera, it has a magic zoom feature, and this is awesome. I use this literally at everything I shoot because it zooms in, and what's cool about it, you can control where it zooms in by just adjusting the positioner here. You can see it kind of moving around here. Put it on the mannequin's face. And when we adjust this, get it focused like that. If you can see, it's kind of hard to pick up on this camera the edges turn green, so it kind of gives you a little reference. It's not super accurate, but it gives you a reference of when it's basically in focus, and that's awesome for doing like interviews and stuff. And um, what's nice about that, that box is adjustable. You can adjust the size. You can also adjust the position based on the type of shoot you're doing and stuff like that. That's awesome. Uh, let me get into, okay, that thing just stopped. That's my card, I think it's full. Anyways, let me go back in here to the settings. The other thing it offers with that, uh, Magic Zoom is the uh, focus peaking, which I used to use a lot, but with that Magic Zoom, I haven't really needed it. I have mine set to green, and what that does, it just gives us an artificial uh, focus. You can kind of see those green. Let me get it on. You can see it over here on the right hand side on those words on that little bang uh, design there. It's flashing green. I have mine set, so when it's close to focus, it'll kind of flicker green. Definitely really cool. Um, I haven't used it that much though since it has the magic zoom. And just to show you, I'm not going to go into detail of all these settings. I just want to show you some of these menu options. You can see there the different uh, settings you can make. And compared to the standard camera when you just turn it on, it doesn't really give you too many options when you're in video mode. So this is pretty awesome. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff for like actual photography and stuff like that, that honestly I haven't had a chance to even touch on yet. So. If you have any questions, definitely check out the link in the description. Also, there's a link to a YouTuber, Media Unlocked. He's got all kinds of tutorials and information about this firmware, so you can check out his channel and get some more information. Uh, the other thing I want to see, or you might be asking yourself, well, what about external monitor? Good question. Let's check it out. This is the Access HD. It's not an HD monitor. It's just a little $40 uh, VGA monitor that I picked up at the local big box place. I'm using the USB RCA. You can even see it. Oh, there it is. And a little trick. I just, I just end up keeping my little twist ties and I use that to help wrap the cords up. So I'm going to plug this into the camera right quick. All right, so we got the monitor all set up and um, something that's pretty cool about this. Um, 
This is just coming out of the USB of the camera using the uh, Canon's USB to RCA adapter, and you can see the audio meters are bouncing. Right now, the audio you're hearing is actually what's being recorded in my Kodak ZI8. So if you hear any weird noises or anything, this is just this microphone. It doesn't reflect um, the audio of the DSLR. Um, but I wanted to show you because this is, I was excited that I can see a lot of the settings, and the only thing it doesn't do magic zoom, if I turn that on, you'll see here it doesn't like that so that doesn't work but the focus peaking does work so where's that at here let's find it where is that setting at there it is so we'll turn that on so you can kind of see it flickering and with the external monitor it kind of it kind of floats so it's got a little ghosting effect you can kind of see it if I move the camera around it doesn't line up exactly right but it's it's kind of accurate it's a good reference if nothing else but I'm just excited to see all of the actual features. You can see all of your adjustments here across the bottom of the screen. This monitor is actually pretty cool, and it got get me thinking. It has a earphone jack, so I thought I'm wondering if it'll actually record. Let me hit rec oh, we're recording now. I want to see if I can actually hear my audio. So it kind of gives me at least a, an audio adjustment now. Yeah, I can totally. We're recording right now, and I can hear the audio, which means. Here's a cool little trick. If you can get a hold of a monitor like this, like I said, this is like a $40 little cheap monitor, but I was pretty surprised. It has a battery built in. I don't know how long it'll last. It has a remote that's on the back so you can control the monitor. And as you're, oh, at least as I can hear right now, I can hear myself as we're recording. So even though the bad thing is obviously this has an adjustment on the side, so it's not gonna give you the most accurate levels, but you can at least listen to audio to see if you're getting wind noise or interference or something like that. So it does offer you an output uh, for an audio proof. It outputs to some monitors. There's, it kind of varies. You have to check out the website and check it with your camera to see for sure. But anyways, there you go. Like I said, Media Unlocked has a lot more tutorials. Check out his YouTube channel. And definitely check out the wiki, the wiki uh, on the Magic Lantern firmware. Anyways, I know this is kind of long. Hopefully this was at least a bit informative. You can check out. There's the menus. And this monitor kind of crops some of those. Uh, reading so I can't see everything but it works out pretty nice so there you go magic lantern not top thanks for watching magic lantern unified 0 0.2.1